Let's say you're the mayor of some town that has tourism, and naturally you want your economy to flourish. Maybe you're looking at the numbers of visitors and thinking, they're not quite what they were before COVID. And you're looking at the other destinations that have already surpassed their COVID numbers, and you're thinking, we need to catch up. We need to do better. What I'd say is, hold on a minute. Let's take a closer look. You might be doing better than you think. I'm Doug Lansky, and this is Rethinking Tourism. For some reason, we're stuck on the old metric of visitor numbers being the key to success. That's largely because that's the success measure used to fill hotel rooms and airplane seats and museums and tour buses. And of course, those people are all your stakeholders. But chances are they may not be looking at the numbers in the right way either. For example, they might be saying, we didn't sell as many tickets or fill as many hotel rooms when compared to this month last year. But what if they're actually selling more tickets and filling more hotel rooms over the entire year compared to last year? Surely that would be better, right? I mean, that's what happens when you successfully spread out the visitors. Also, let's get back to you being the mayor for a moment. And let's pick a number and say you have a million visitors. And if you have to choose, would you rather your visitors go up by 10% but the revenue remains the same? Or would you rather the revenue goes up by 10% and the number of visitors remains the same? More revenue, right? I mean, it's called a tourism industry for a reason. People are here to make money and that's fine. Now, would you rather make 10% more revenue or 10% more profit? Profit, right? I mean, what's the point of more revenue if your costs are higher? And would you rather have 10% more profit, but it goes to stakeholders who reside outside your destination or only make 5% more profit, but it all stays in your destination's economy? Let's keep going. Would you be willing to earn 10% less if it meant that you were the most sustainable destination in the world? And would you be willing to make even another 10% less if it meant you had the highest visitor satisfaction in the world? And keep in mind that both of those last two things mean you would likely need to spend less on marketing. And finally, would you be willing to earn even a little less if it meant your locals were very happy with the level of tourism and it didn't feel overcrowded? If you answered yes to any of those things, it means you're probably using the wrong KPIs to show your success as a destination. At the end of the day, tourism needs a better business model. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel to get commentary on all the latest travel news.